The countdown is on. We are just three months away from the Cincinnati mayoral election and candidates Mayor John Cranley and Councilwoman Yvette Simpson. Well, they've been busy hitting the streets this summer, wooing voters. So just how good is their ground game? WCPO.com has a new piece on the topic it published today. I'm joined now by the woman who wrote the article, Paula Christian. And Paula, it really is kind of fly on the wall stuff that you get to tag along with mm -hmm. two mayoral candidates as they do their ground game. What did you learn? It was a lot of fun. It was really interesting. Um, it was very humbling experience for both of them. Um, usually you see them dressed up at City Hall and to see them in shorts in the summer heat, walking through neighborhoods, asking for votes. It was really interesting. So I'm going to tap into that experience just a little bit. Um, how often or how long did they stay at every door? A uh, couple seconds to a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. It just depends if people wanted to talk to them. Um, and did people want to talk to them? Uh, yeah, they generally, they really did. Um, they had interests and issues with their, you know, if their street was paved, if there was a problem with heroin overdoses in their neighborhood, if, um, you know, if they were happy with the direction of the city or they weren't. So mm -hmm. it was, they did talk to them. Okay. So let's go back to the primary. Mm -hmm. Yvette Simpson beat Mayor Cranley mm -hmm. in the primary. So is that forcing a ground game where he's concerned? Oh, absolutely. He did not have any ground game in the primary. And when he first ran for mayor um, back in 2013, he had a very small ground game. He only went maybe to a handful of doors. This is totally different for Mayor Cranley. He's invested a lot of time, a lot of money, mm -hmm. because he knows he needs to get in front of voters to win their votes. In the primary, did Yvette Simpson have a ground game? She had a, a tremendous ground game, okay. but it was all volunteer-based, and it was very targeted to certain neighborhoods where she knew she could get people out to support her. So it wasn't an enormous ground game, but it was a smart ground game. What does that tell you about grassroots politics? Well, if you can and get people behind you, it's great, um, but you need enough volunteers doing this on a regular basis for it to, to really resonate, and that's harder at the local level. I mean, this is not Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. It's harder for local candidates to get that sort of energy um, to get people really behind them. Hmm. In terms of looking forward, how do you think it's gonna make a difference with each campaign now that they're both hitting the ground hard? Well, John Cranley has a large uh, paid staff uh, that is able to walk for him, mm -hmm. which uh, his ground game, he, he's got a very impressive ground game. Um, Yvette has a very good one too. So I think it's going to be a very close race. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's we have three months to go till the election, so we'll see, but it, I think it will be close. If there's one thing you learned watching them, what was it? Um, they connect with voters very well. You can tell they've both been doing this a long time. Um, they are seasoned politicians. They, within uh, a few seconds, they can find a connection to you. They, whether it's where you work, where your kids go to school, um, anything like that, it's really great. All right, Paula Christian, thank you for the insight there. Really appreciate it. And if you'd like to read more of that article, all you have to do is go to WCPO.com.